today, we honor a leader, a hero, and a man who was deeply loved. That's exactly who Captain Max Fortuna was, and that's exactly how Captain Max Fortuna will always be remembered. You didn't have to know Captain Max personally to know that he was a man who led by example. And the overwhelming show of support that's reflected in this place today is a result of the very leadership that Captain Max exemplified throughout his career. The city of Stock. Captain is forever great. Full for our firefighters and for their families. But very few truly understand the sacrifices that our firefighters and their families make in service to our communities. And from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say thank you to our firefighters. Thank you to the Fortuna family for your sacrifice to our community and your courage that you continue to demonstrate even during this most difficult time. The Stockton Fire Department and first responders across the nation are very similar because they all share a special bond. And that bond is a brotherhood and a sisterhood. We would do anything for one another. And when our brother hurts and when his family hurts, we hurt as well. Experiencing here today as brothers and sisters to Captain Max does not compare to the grief that the Fortuna family is experiencing. To Max's wife, Becky. To his daughter, Samantha. And to his son, Josh. We love you. We're praying for you. May God give you the strength and the grace that you need when you need it most. God bless you. Thank you, Mary Lincoln. At this time, I'd like to call forward Rick Edwards, Chief of the Stockton Fire Department. Good morning. I want to thank all of you for being here today to honor our brother, Vidal Max Fortuna. This past week has been one of shock, disbelief, and profound sadness for the Stockton Fire Department. The job of a firefighter is inherently dangerous, rife with risk. 
Firefighters and first responders selflessly perform the duties of a calling. We sign up for this calling voluntarily, knowing that there are no guarantees that we will go home at the end of our tour. It takes a special person to have the courage necessary to overcome the fear of running into burning buildings or providing medical care for someone as they take their final breaths. Captain Vidal Fortuna, or Max, as he is more affectionately known to his brother and sister firefighters, was that special person. Max began his career as a paid call firefighter for the series fire department and an EMT for American Medical Response. On December 1st of 2000, he was hired by the Stockton Fire Department as a firefighter paramedic trainee and assigned to the division of training. I and six other recruits had the pleasure of accompanying Max through the winter of 2001 Academy. Over 10 weeks, the eight of us spent almost every waking minute together, drilling, studying, exercising, polishing boots were the norm. We would find time to relax during our lunches, making light of drills or other team building tasks, or simply busting each other's chops as we grew closer. It did not matter what the task or drill was, Max always gave it his all and never once complained. At the same time, he was always encouraging the rest of us. Max's work ethic was second to none. Upon our graduation, the eight of us were assigned to different shifts in different firehouses across the city. The bond that was forged amongst our academy grew stronger with every passing year as we regularly gathered with our families to celebrate the anniversaries of our graduation and other significant life-changing events. After a year of probation, Max was selected as a senior firefighter, or two-man, as it was commonly referred to, at Engine 12 on the east side. Max had quickly developed a reputation as a solid fireman and a compassionate paramedic, steadfast under pressure. I had the pleasure of working, all, working on the same shift as Max in a neighboring firehouse. There was nothing more comforting than looking at the daily lineup and seeing my pal Max working on engine 12. I knew that if we caught a good job, Max would be leading the charge to back, back us up. Max also spent a lot of time and took great pride in training new firefighters. Max had tremendous patience and would stay up late into the evening working with his probationaries and personnel in the ambulance who desired to be firefighters. His love of the job and passion for the craft of firefighting was evident in the time he invested in the next generation of firefighters. As I look out into the crowd today, I see many of those same faces. Now firefighters of all ranks with different organizations a testament to Max's influence and his mentorship. Max was a born leader. He was a man of integrity that took tremendous pride in his job. He focused on developing others and cared greatly for those that worked alongside him. These noble characteristics combined with his knowledge and experience of firefighting helped him become a top candidate for promotion to fire captain. Max was promoted to fire captain in 2009. Shortly after his promotion, his reputation of being a great leader and hardworking firefighter earned him a coveted tour at Engine 2, here in the heart of the city. Firehouse 2 is also home to the department's urban search and rescue company, and Captain Fortuna eagerly attended months of rescue training to, ob to obtain the required certifications. Engine 2 is one of the busiest companies in the Stockton Fire Department, routinely responding to more than 5,000 calls for service annually. Max thrived in the busy environment and capitalized on the opportunity to train new firefighters and engineers. 
Captain Fortuna was also an inspiration and mentor to his crew, helping both firefighter Urich and engineer Hoskinson successfully promote to captain. Captain Fortuna never once complained about the call volume, building or hydrant inspections, or the seemingly endless stack of fire reports. When I would occasionally stop by the firehouse in the morning, I would ask Max, how was your night? And I'd be referring to how many times his company got up for emergencies after midnight. He could have been up every hour on a call and still responded, it was a pretty good night. This is who Captain Fortuna was, a genuine, warm-hearted human being with an incredible passion for the fire service. He had a sense of humor that could make an entire room break out into laughter. Becky, Samantha, and Joshua, I'm so deeply sorry for your loss. You meant the world to Max, and he lovingly spoke about each of you often. The fire service asks a lot from our firefighters' families. Your family has made the ultimate sacrifice, giving more than what is expected of anyone. You gave your loved one, and we are forever in your debt. I know our fire department and their families' hearts are broken, but know too that our spirits are strong. The legacy of Captain Max Fortuna will live on forever in the Stockton Fire Department. We will never forget Max, and we will continue to honor Max every day as he would have wanted, answering our community's calls for help and providing the very best service we're capable of, just as he would have done. Max, rest easy, my friend. We'll take it from here. Thank you, Chief Edwards.